Yes. Yes. Well, we come to the next part of the uh, critical commentary where the, uh, the stronger. Okay, but I've torn out her eyes. If she had come around when I was uh, at home, turn out means black out your uh, the eyes of this woman. If she came or uh, to make something to to seduce her to seduce her husband, Mrs. X told these words to Miss Y. She said when. She was on a tour. Tour means a journey in Norway, Norway, Scandinavian country, with her husband. Frederick tried to, Frederick, the woman, tried to seduce, seduce, attract. Uh, I mean, uh, her husband, but her husband told her about Frederick, told her about Frederick. Okay, uh, okay, Bob told. Uh, Mrs. X, that this woman whose name Frederick tried to seduce me. Okay, that's mean she told her that that Mr. Bob is faithful to me since he told me about this woman, this bad woman who tried to uh, uh, try to uh, to to seduce me. Um, but her husband told her about Frederick, so Mrs. X was aware aware, knows, if she wanted to get close to her husband. Uh, so Mrs. X was aware if she wanted to get close to her husband and house uh, when she was at home. Yes. Uh, you may believe, I don't know why. You may believe, I don't know why. But women are absolutely, absolutely crazy about my husband. Okay, woman uh, loves her husband for because of two things. One of them is a uh, uh, employer. I mean, he's executive. He's a manager. He's director in in, uh, in, uh, uh, in theater. And the second thing is that he's handsome man and elegant and so on. Uh, but uh, yes, about that. And Mrs. X tells Mrs. Y that there are many women follow her husband because he works in the office. He's in the office. Office means the uh, the office is in the theater, so he can employ uh, any person he uh, likes. Uh, he works in uh, the office of the theater, and they think he had authority, authority power, to about the contract. Contract means uh, uh, contracts the uh, hood that I mean to make a contract with with other actresses to work in theater. She tries. Uh, she tries to emphasize on the idea that the main, the man belongs to her, as if he is a property, uh, not a human being. Uh, the implied fact is that she knows her husband is not faithful, and she should keep her eyes on him. Yes, maybe okay. Uh, yes, maybe it's uh, because I did stand in in your way. Did stand in your way, prevent you from getting Bob uh, uh, in your way that time. Mrs. X uh, said that while she was inviting her to her house. To let Miss Y shows that she is not angry with, uh, with them. Okay, come to my house. I am inviting you to come to my house. I am not angry with you. And here we know that Mrs. X stood in Mrs. Y's job and marriage way. Okay. 
Uh, I didn't get jealous, strange. Mrs. X says that uh, to Mrs. Y when she was uh, the first time she was afraid of her, so she became her friend. But Mrs. Miss Y and uh, her husbands weren't friendly toward each other. But after Mrs. Y engagement, uh, Miss Y and Mrs. X husband became so friendly till she showed her real feeling. I can't be angry with you, though you uh, with you though I'd like to be your I'd like to be. I can't be angry with you. Okay. Though I would like to be, you are weakling. You are weakling. Weakling. You are the weakest. But in fact, she is not the weakest. You, and Mrs. Y, is not the weakest. Listen to above. Oh. Uh, that would job, that would pop. I don't care about that. That doesn't really hurt me. And if you have taught me to drink chocolate, see what are the changes, what are the influences of Miss Y upon Mrs. X. Okay, so I don't care about that. That doesn't really hurt me. And if you have taught me to drink chocolate, taught me to drink chocolate, or someone uh, or someone uh, else has, what difference does it make? Okay, actually, there is a difference. There is an exclamation mark. So first you taught me how to drink chocolate. Then uh, she drinks a spoonful of uh, her cup with extreme common sense besides chocolate is good for me she, actually she doesn't like chocolate but she tries to drink to annoy miss y here is mrs x uh, talks about how she changed to be miss y she changed her life her desire her habits of eating her habits of drinking to meet the desires of her husband because of uh, she changed to be miss y to be miss y to be similar to miss y because of keeping her husband she had to change uh, to miss y so to be uh, I mean, to, 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 to keep her husband, she, she has to change her life, her mood, her temperance, her habits uh, to be similar to Miss Y. But she always said that she is not uh, really annoyed about that. Mrs. X learned uh, to drink chocolate from Miss Y. And she says it is good for her, so... She is not angry about her changes uh, to be similar to Miss Y. She pretends to be the stronger Tawil and the Gunmada here al Mrs. Then we have what? We have uh, maybe when you uh, maybe when all is said after Kulma Bil. Uh, maybe when all is said, I am really the stronger right now. This is announcement Tada Alan from Mrs. X that she is the stronger, that she is the stronger, and Miss Y is what is the weak. Here is Mrs. X tries to tell Miss Y that she is the stronger because she took everything from Miss Y. She took everything. She took Bob to be her husband, and then she took the job as actress. And she lost everything. Mrs. X says that she is like a thief. Okay, she, uh, I mean, 
uh, compares herself with a thief. Uh, okay, because she only took whatever Miss Y had. Yes. So Mrs. X say that you lost to, to Miss Y, that you lost and I won or I took. But Miss Y didn't get anything from her, so she had what Miss Y had lost. What you have lost, what you had lost, I had uh, got. Thank you, Amelia. Thank you for everything you taught me. So, thank you. You taught me everything. How to write, how to read, how to uh, read, how to drink, how to eat, how to wear. How to wear also, okay? Um, here, Mrs. X thanks Amelia for what she had taught her that caused her to change to keep her husband. The very important thing here is that she kept her husband or she keeps her husband. She keeps Bob from, uh, from Miss Y, okay? Uh, and she thanks her because she taught her husband how to make love. Okay. Uh, there is another topic that is the images. Images, uh, surah. Uh, and here we have, uh, this is very important uh, topic. And, and the last topic, actually. Mis topics. Uh, okay. Mrs. Images. Mrs. X admits, confesses that Miss Y changed and affected her so much. You affected me, you influence, you have a great influence on me. And I have changed, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, my life, my way of life, my habits, uh, so much. And she says that Miss Y stole her soul. So you took my soul out, okay? And she mentions some images uh, too strongly show the affection, affection influence, affections of Miss Y on herself. That is Mrs. X. Mrs. X tells Miss Y that she was like a worm, a worm, a kind of insect. Okay. Uh, that worm. So come to an apple. You have an apple, and there is a worm come to and like bacteria, like uh, insect, and uh, and uh, to an apple that at at uh, her inside, at her from inside. Okay, until all that was left was the shell. Shell means uh, crust. Yeah. And little dust, dust, uh, the remains of the, uh, when, I mean, burning food, burning uh, wood, so still, or burning, you know, paper, there is dust, black dust, Ramad Aswad, oh, And then she mentions that Miss Y was like a snake, you are like a snake. And that her eyes hypotonized or fascinated her. You have something, you know, attraction in your in your eyes. You hypotonize, you know, or not seen, uh, or fascinated, attract, or uh, I mean, yes, her sometimes means have some magic uh, here, and that is why her wings rose. That's why her uh, wings run. Try to flee, uh, flee or to fly uh, and moved. Try to move. Try to fly from your clutch or claws. But uh, uh, only move only to drag her down. When try to flee from you, you are drag me down to the uh, uh, bottom of the pool of water, inside water. That means I cannot uh, flee from 
from your clutches. Okay. Then she describes this why uh, as a giant crab. You are just like a crab. Crab. Yes, kind of animals with a very hard claws under the bottom of water, ready to seize hair while her feet are bounded. So you bounded, okay, my feet and. Um, uh, and the more she tries to swim, whenever she tries to swim, to flee from, uh, she sank uh, to the giant crab. To, to uh, say, you know, to sank, sank means sink, yeah. uh, to the giant crab. Crab, giant crab is a simile, which is, I mean, she describes or similarizes Mr. Miss Y uh, as a, a giant crab, giant crab in the bottom of the sea. Okay. Uh, the other thing and the last uh, uh, regarding to the letters, regarding to the letters, why uh, does the writer that is August Trinkberg? uses letters to the, his characters, not to, I mean, and do not, or does not use, for example, uh, uh, you know, explicit or clear uh, nouns. Let's see why, what is the reason? Are they, uh, I mean, important character or uh, unimportant character? Let's see. Why the writer, who is August Strindberg, uses uh, X and Y for the character's name, not an ordinary name, ordinary, normal names. Because the plot and the conflict of this one act to play can happen in any society of the world. The first thing that what happened is can happen anywhere, any place, and all over the world. So we can replace X and Y by other names. So we can, instead of X, we can put another name from any other society and Y from any other society or a part of the world or a region of the world or a continent of the world by any other name that we can imagine, other, any other name we can imagine. Actually, this is one thing, and the other thing, uh, the uh, uh, the mention of the names uh, is uh, not important. Okay, so what is important is the content of the of the uh, uh, of the play of the play. Okay, uh, we know that that uh, that is you know. Uh, uh, I mean, this incident or this action or this, you know, uh, theme can happen uh, uh, at any place, uh, you know, at any, you know, spot in the world, uh, at any country, okay? So, uh, here the writer, uh, you know, expresses or uh, the... Uh, discusses or expresses or shows the conflict uh, the conflict uh, conflict among sexes among sexes here we have the conflict actually between two uh, the same sex the same sex that is uh, female sex that is mrs uh, x and miss y okay uh, uh, the ordinary question actually, you know post all time that is, who is the stronger, or, uh, and this is, you know, assignment for the whole suit. Who is the stronger, Manil Abwa? What do you think who is the stronger? Is she Mrs. X or Miss Y? And uh, you have to justify uh, or enhance your answer with uh, quotations. Uh, quotations means um, statements uh, said by the by the hero of the uh, play. This is the end of my second uh, 
uh, you know lecture for today assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh